Hey beloved, Krista Pettiford here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share a word for women who are in transition or women who are over 40 and feel stuck. If you feel stuck like the life that you had planned and dreamt of and the life that you're living right now are not lining up, are not congruent, or like you have maybe a good career, you have a good life in many aspects, but the things that really matter to you, like relationships and how you spend your time. And if you ever had the opportunity to go after to your dreams and uh, you've always played it safe but in playing it safe and doing the right thing you feel like life is passing you by your dreams are passing you by then this video is for you see because I've been stuck in an expired season I've been stuck waiting for change hoping for change to come but what I realized is that change many times there's things that only God can change but then there are things that God leaves up to to us that he needs us to step in and begin to change because real change begins within it begins with you and the thing is is that nothing changes sometimes we're stuck in an old season we're stuck and we feel like we can't move forward because we don't have hope for the future we're willing to settle because life has been so harsh or so hard that we've learned just to settle for the status quo and good enough and then other times we're afraid to move forward because we're afraid of the unknown and we're afraid that we won't be able to figure it out. And if we leave our safe place or what we're comfortable in, that to go out into something unknown and do something different, that it may not turn out the way that we want it to. And I understand that because as a grown adult woman, you have grown adult responsibilities. So sometimes, you know, what looks nice on paper or on social media and one little post is not how that thing really plays out. There's work that has to be done when you're going to change your life. But I also have come to know from getting myself unstuck that change begins within what I thought I couldn't do, what I didn't believe that I didn't believe that God still had something great for me. I thought at one point being 40 something divorced, children grown and life not turning out as I thought it would, um, as I I had hoped and prayed it would when everything fell apart that my best days were behind me and that I would just have to you know kind of cruise into this future and even though I had a good life as far as you know I look good on paper a great career a home and all these things inside there was something that was not really happy um, because I was living with this with broken dreams and um but what happened is I began to change my under, um, perspective when I began to ask God the right questions. First, I was asking him, why is this happening to me? Why did this happen to me? I was trying to figure out what went wrong. But when I started asking God what he was doing in the middle of the season that I was in, then I changed my perspective and I began to see the beauty, the blessings, the purpose, and the lessons in the season that I'm in. And when I could see the beauty, the blessings, the purpose, and the lessons, and how God was making everything work together for my good, even if it wasn't happening the way I thought it should, then I was able to dream again and I was able to change my mindset. So change begins within. So for you who think that, you know, you can't change, that you have to settle, that it is what it is and that, you know, what you wanted um, has passed you by. I believe that God has something better for you. I believe that God has something that your best days are ahead of you and that God can make the rest of your life, the best of your life, and that he can make even what the enemy meant for evil work for your good, that you are not tied to your past, that you can give yourself permission to let God let go and let God and what God needs to restore what needs to be restored what is purposed what he has purposed in his book to be restored he will restore and reconcile and that which has to be let go he will replace when Cain killed Abel he replaced him with Seth another a substitute and God can do the same thing for you maybe your dream didn't come true and there's no way to get that back but 
give yourself permission to dream again. Maybe God has put a new dream in your heart that you don't think that you have the capacity within yourself to complete. Well, you don't. It takes Jesus to complete God-sized dreams. But if you would look at not why things have happened the way they did and stop trying to figure them out, then God can show you what he's doing and how he's working it out for your good. And that is when things begin to change. When and when and when you figure that out, when God begins to give you a different perspective, the next thing to do is to lean in with God. Lean in to the one thing, into his presence. That's where he's going to show you these things. But then lean into the one or few things that God has given you to do so that you focus in, lean in to what God is calling you to give your time and attention to so that you can break the barrier and you can break through that place where you felt stuck. It's really leaning in. Like when you're trying to break a rock or break a hard wall, you keep hitting the same place over and over again and it will fall. So you lean into that. And then once you lean in, you also want to listen for what God is telling you and not listen to the wrong voices, voices of doubt or fear or worry or things don't, that people even people that don't line up with what God has spoken to you. You're going to have to close your ears and listen to God's voice. He said, my sheep know my voice and another voice they will not follow. And then as you lean in, he's going to give you some things to pray over. Oftentimes we want to let, it's the very things that we want to let go that God tells us to continue to keep lifted in prayer. And those are the things that you keep lifted in prayer and, um, and having a new mindset will renew your faith. And and then he's going to tell you to let go of some things that have hindered you. And you want to ask him, Lord, what am I supposed to let go of? And let go of those things because God has better for you. Give yourself permission to let go of people, of your past, of all those things. And um, your expectations of the past and what didn't happen. And to let go of even what you may be holding on to now, that you how you thought it was going to be. And then you want to look for the lessons. You want to look for what God is asking you to learn so that as you move into your future, you can take that wisdom and that lesson forward with you. And so I hope that this has helped you. I believe that God has a good future for you. You do not have to stay stuck, but the thing to do is to look up to God, lean in with him and begin to change your mindset about the fears and the past and the things that have held you back. You need to pinpoint those broken things that say that you still can, that God doesn't have a hope in a future for you, that God doesn't have a good plan for you. Just because the past didn't line up and didn't work out doesn't mean that God still can't do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can dare ask or think in this season. Ruth and Naomi, two women who lost everything, their husbands, their life, their family, went back into Bethlehem and not thinking that there was anything for them but safety and shelter, willing to settle for a life of less than. But because of their, because of Ruth's courageous faith and going with her mother-in-law and willing to do the work and find the beauty, the blessings, the purpose, and the lessons in that season, God by her acts of faith and her willingness to move forward, both of them, God had a plan. It was ahead of them. That's the thing you got to get moving. God had a plan for them, but it wasn't staying stuck in the, in the, um, place of transition and just what am I going to do? What am I going to do? But not making a decision. And it wasn't going back like Oprah went back to her old life, but it was in moving forward, even in the unknown, even in the unfamiliar, even in a place where Naomi had already been, but it was going to be unfamiliar to her going forward. She was willing to do it. And if you're willing, then God is able. God bless you, um, especially if you're a woman 
over 40 it doesn't mean that and and you and your life is not where you thought it would be if you are willing to move forward and change your mindset and see what god has for you then he is willing already to make it work for your good he already has a hope in a future for you but it's ahead of you and not behind you and it's certainly not in the stuck place but it is it begins where you're at right now but inside of you I hope that makes sense to you. God bless you. Please subscribe and download my free um, five clarifying questions for every season of life where I go into more detail into those five clarifying questions that you turn into prayer um, that I just went over the five L's. God bless you. Until